Hi, it's Tim with MVP Machine. We're going to do a quick video here uh, showing the Suburban Tool Fly Cutter with a 7 inch bar. Um, we're going to cut a 6 inch plate, 6 inch wide by 21 and a half inches long. We're taking approximately a 20 thousandths of an inch depth of cut and we're running the cutter at 720 RPMs and 5 and a half inches per minute. And what we want to do is show you guys how flat we can make this plate over the whole 21 inch length. Um, we get a lot of comments in our other videos about using a surface grinder to achieve the same thing. And um, not really the same thing because you would not want to debark a hot roll plate with a surface grinder in my opinion. Um, and even if you use this tool to debark it, you could basically use a surface grinder to achieve a flatter finish, but we want to see how flat we can get it just using this tool. And if you wanted a, a rougher finish or a coarser finish, which a lot of people um, would want for a cylinder head application or an engine block, um, you would just slow the feed rate down or the RPMs or both. And you'll get a real nice crosshatch pattern instead of the smooth, shiny finish that you're seeing here. The Suburban Tool um, sells this with the 7.5 inch bar, which is shown here, and also sells it with a 5 inch and the, an 11 inch bar. And they're all adjustable, the bars, this is a seven and a half inch, which is adjustable to over 10 inches if you were to run the cutter to its furthest extent in the tool or in the configuration that it's in right now, the tool is all the way uh, in, um, which is the most stable and gives you the best balance. Um, but this tool will actually cut a, a 10 and a half inch plate just with a seven inch bar. The Suburban Tool Fly Cutter mounts to a one inch shell mill arbor, the standard arbor. Um, it's available from Suburban Tool with a Cat 40 arbor or an R8 arbor. It's basically a one inch hub on the arbor with a 3 8 inch keyway. To purchase this tool, Click the link below in the description or the link on the right hand lower side of this video or you can go to subtool.com. If you like our video, please subscribe below and be sure to hit the like button and also watch our other videos. We have over nine years of sales on eBay and plenty of positive feedback. Uh, please check out the link below if you want to review the feedback or click off to the side in the lower part of this video. Okay, now here we're going to see the results of our Suburban Tool fly cutting efforts. This is my favorite Sterrett one thou indicator. We're going to run it around the perimeter of this part and see how flat we're able to keep it. We're trying to hold one thou. Let's see how we did. And my dog must have got a little too close to this indicator somehow. There's some dog hair hanging out the right side. Hopefully that doesn't affect anything. Yeah, it looks like we're well within a thousandth of an inch. Thank you for watching.